This is a follow-up video to the one that was just made yesterday where we compared 16-hole uh, Seidel Symphony ALU with the 12-hole 48. Uh, those new harps uh, from Seidel, all exquisite instruments. And of course the 16-holer, you know, and then if you cover the first two holes and last two holes of the 16, you get what's called orchestra tuning, which really is just kind of the sweet center spot of a 16. And then we had C solo tuning, which as you know, would be if you covered the first four holes on a 16 hole. But we're going to get into why the sound is better, but I would like to give you a little sound test of how beautiful this particular harp is. And this one, of course, is fitted with the Ketowal Frictionless Mouthpiece Slider and with an ergo button. And here we go with some Chopin. <laughs> So, let's get into it. What are the factors which combine to make the 16 hole the most complex texture of sound in the chromatic harmonica grouping? Why would that be? Well, <clears throat> as I see things, and it's just my perspective, I think there's several things. First of all, there's more mass in the cone. Now this is a resonant cone because it's solid aluminum. So it's one piece. It's got, it's larger. It's like a grand piano, a concert grand. It's, it's massive. So you have this very large mass of metal that's kind of holding those reeds. And I think that that is a part of the story of why this instrument uh, has the projection it has. The second issue would be that the 16 holer, as you know, has four more holes, okay? And that's 16 more reeds, two up top, two down uh, on every hole. So you have more reeds which create just a tiny bit of uh, harmonics when you play, okay? So that would be a second factor. So we have the, the comb itself, which is larger mass, and then we have the reeds, and then we have the reed plates. And you know, you could think of a reed plate as a reed. It, it has some sound characteristics and whatever. It's a larger thing, this longer reed plate. So the reed's bigger and can uh, give more punch. Um, so now we have the, the comb itself is larger, more mass, we, then we have more reeds, more mass in the reed plate, and a larger area that the sound can work in under the cover. Okay, and of course the covers here 
are larger too and a larger mouthpiece. Now from the work I'd done in the past on other instruments, I knew that anything you do to change a harp changes the sound. If you change the mouthpiece material, it changes the sound. If you change the comb, it changes the sound. If you change the covers, it changes the sound. Um, so I think that there's many, many, many different factors that combine. Now, what is different about that 16-hole sound? What's different about it? It's the same notes that it would be on a 12, but each note on a 16 is more complex. The, the, what I call the tonal harmonic footprint on the note has more going on. It's more, it's more deep, more complex, like a very fine wine. Okay. And so you could hear that in the video I did yesterday where you had, you know, 16 hole versus 12 hole, which you can look up on YouTube. Uh, and that more complex note, I think, really draws us in, in the same way that a beautiful concert piano would hold us. And um, <clears throat> if you like this instrument, of course, this is owned by Mr. Dibel, and he offers uh, my customized uh, harps all over the world. You go to mastersofharmonica.com to see the full inventory of the harps that he owns. I'm just the workman. I, I'm the little Geppetto in the workshop doing the magic, but he's the fellow that uh, has funded the purchase of these harps to make them available around the world. What is the benefit of the slider? Principally, I'd say relaxed embouchure. You don't have to do that. Just lips relaxed. Slider goes left and right. You don't use spit anymore. No saliva or lubricate. Harp stays a little cleaner. Changes the tone a bit, too, because if you think about it, the thickness of the slider adds to the resonance chamber itself of the uh, comb chamber, okay? And um, so it's kind of a fun thing in these ergo buttons. There are no sharp edges. No matter where you touch them, they're comfortable to your hand. These harps, by the way, are, I would just say, the Seidel company, I think, uh, number one in the world at the present time. I've said that before, and I gave them an award two years ago as Manufacturer of the Year. This design is one of the more advanced ever done. Um, it's so easy to take the slide out. You just screw this, unscrew it, pull it down a little bit, out it comes. You can put on slide oil, stick it back in. It takes less than a minute. Very, very easy to, to work on. Just absolutely fantastic build quality. This is an ALU model, ALU aluminum. But anyhow, that's the story on why it is that the 16 holer has a better tone. Now, let's understand that when it comes to the sound of instruments, it's always personal. Somebody might say, I want a simpler texture. They might prefer the orchestra tuning or the C solo tuning in those 12 holes. They might prefer that to a 16. So it's always a kind of a personal judgment on, on what you find beautiful, you know. But if you think about it, it was anecdotal for many years. Oh, the 16, those 16. But when you compare them back to back with a 12, you can really hear what's going on. The, the final decision on which you like best, in your hands, of course. Of course it's in your hands. You're the one that decides what tone you like best. And, you know, you can, you can explore that and think about it. But uh, again, it's an absolutely marvelous instrument. Seidel Symphony 16. Um, I played Seidel Saxony for, uh, I think, three years. Loved that harp. Played this. Love it. Um, just solid harp, stainless steel reeds, German silver reed plates, solid German silver. They're not plated. The, co the, the covers on this are uh, actually cast aluminum. So that's, that's something else, too. It's a very, very fine instrument with a beautiful contour. If you look at that, just a nice flare. I had communicated to them, I thought that, you know, that the cover should flare. I'm sure other people did too, but they did move in that direction. Anyway, thanks for listening. The story of the 16.